Hey everyone, this is Miss Scarlet Tanager back with some Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. When we last left off, we were at the Kukai Foundation. And Cosmos isn't here! Anyway, we're not going to worry too much about exploring most of the Kukai Foundation since quite a lot of at least this area I'm in right now is blocked off. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, I think I made her sad. Aww. Let's be friends, little girl. I need new friends. Or at least more of them. But yeah, there's not... Enough of this particular area is cordoned off in the beginning of... In, during this part of the game that there's not much point in going here. But if I remember correctly, there is something we want to see. Yes. And it is here. Give me a second, there's a... Oh! Because I dropped my speaker. Sorry, there was a cord right across the screen and it was annoying. I had to fix it. Now, if you just come over here and go down here, we have... Somebody walking up my stairs. And long loading screens. There we go. <laughs> Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall, Chapter 1. Giant Scientist. Genius Scientist appears. Giant Scientist. Episode. His name is. This place permeates some kind of fondness for the past. <laughs> What's going on? This is no place for the likes of you, no sir! Excuse me, what is this place? Ahem, <clears throat> very good of you to ask. This is the amazing, stupendous, absolutely fabulous Foundation Robot Academy. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Ellipses! But this is no time for me to be talking to you. No sir! Seems it's some sort. Blah, blah, blah. It sort of seems like an eggs factory, but a little different. Eggs, you say? Don't you dare compare this to those children's toys. No, sir! Children's toys? Then what in the world do you make here? Hmm? All you keep doing is asking questions! You're all some kind of spies, aren't you? Who do you work for? Spies? We're nothing of the sort. Why are you saying we, Xi'an? I only see you there. I have a little interest in machines at all, so I thought I'd ask. Hmm. Interested in machines, you say? Alright then, I'll tell you. I'm building an invincible giant robot. There will be our final attack during the final boss. <laughs> Giant robot? No, you got it wrong. Invincible giant robot. I don't know why his voice keeps changing. Invincible giant robot. You don't believe me? Then I'll tell you an extra special secret. Why are you telling this person you don't even know the name of their secret? A secret. More ellipses. Do you want to hear it? That's okay. Listen, it's gonna tell us anyway. <gasps> the hopes and dreams mankind lost have been scattered across the universe. Likewise, there are giant robot parts that we have forgotten in the past floating around aimlessly in the universe. Do you understand? Nope. <laughs> Figure it out. Well, you're nice. Are you gonna give me a name? As I just repeatedly pelvic thrust you to, uh, entrust you with a part of my dream. Chion, he's pelvic thrusting at you. What do you think he wants to entrust you with? Ah! 
pretty pushy Shion? I think he's a little bit more than pretty pushy. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? <laughs> because we haven't done that part of introductions yet. And so his name is just Professor. <gasps> Great. Can I blow everything up yet? I have one robot arm, I know that. Do I have the other one? Let us see. Oh, I have Junior and Chaos. Wait a minute. Who do I have with me? Um, there we go. Everything is right with the world. We are no longer Shion. And of course, have her behind Junior. Junior will protect you! I kind of ship those two. Just kind of. I wonder how the conversation would have changed had I entered here as Junior. Oh, the he's gone! Oh right, I meant to check if I actually had the robot parts. Um, we do! We have both the left arm and the right arm. I think this is an exit and re-enter situation, guys. But yeah, this was the section- the little bit that I said I was going to do a lot of it off screen, because you get the robot pieces from the segment addresses, the little doors I've been finding decoders for. So a lot of that I'm going to do off screen, but figured I might as well introduce it to you guys now. Okay, now we get to see Junior talking to him. <laughs> Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall, Chapter 2, Episode Foundation Robot Academy. We found some- <laughs> Junior needs a better voice than that. We found some robot parts, we brought them for you. Well, you already found some! This is much faster than I anticipated. You make it sound like we got them easily, but it's actually pretty tough. Now, where's the special reward we agreed on? You better give it to us like you promised. Oh? What is this about? Hey, you tricked us? Oh well. We'll go pawn these robot parts to a junk store or something. Wait, wait! It was just a little joke! But the thing is... What is it, old man? You want something? The factory is so dirty, I don't feel like working! I have a small favor to ask. Can you help me clean up the factory? Cleaning? What the heck are we supposed to clean? You people have connection gear, right? Use the vaporizer plug-in to blast away the clutter in the factory. Bam, bam, bam! If you do that for me, there's no stopping my creativity. Okay. Well, I guess we have no choice, but you better keep your promise. Why is an oversweet coffee? I'll agree with that. I, well, not necessarily the oversweet part, but the coffee part. Yeah, guys, just so as you know, I don't like coffee. I, in fact, quite detest the stuff. If I ever drink coffee, it's... Just about a um, couple tablespoons of coffee and the rest of it's milk and creamer. And sugar. Lots of sugar. Blow up the things, blow up the things. Blow, 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 blow up the things. Can I give me my shit? By the way, you guys sure have a lot of free time. <laughs> Probably step back a little bit from the microphone. There we go. I'm trying a little bit of a new recording setup after recording Resident Evil 2 and finding buzzing throughout the entire audio. Why are those robot parts floating in midair and why are they both look like they're both uh, left arms? <gasps> The throny blade! See, it's always an ether for Shion. 
that is what pisses me off about this particular thing, because it means that if you ever want to use it, you have to have Shion in the party. Which means this game hates me. Because it's making me have Shion in the party. Forgetting something. Take all of the ether points. I may dislike you, Shion, but you can be helpful in giving things to Momo. <laughs> um, controls, controls! Do as I instruct. can get all of the things. Damn. Flame wings or lightning wings? Mm. You know what? Yeah, let's go purifying storm. Yes, I'm doing this on screen! Don't judge me because I'm beautiful. Oh, she already has it. Okay, never mind. So we're just gonna save that. Anybody else? Nope. We're just missing Cosmos, and we're going to be missing Cosmos for a while. I think we need to buy some frames for our eggs units. But first, let's see if there is any eggs units I can... Nope. Balls. I should have done this off screen, but I did not So now you're going to have to sit through my terrible singing while I buy things out of my... Wow, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Now let's get our things and be strong. Doopy 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 doo. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm restoring all the eggs units to health because the next area we're going to have to fight things is bad. Just calling it now. Bunker Buster. Handgun manufactured by Vector. It doesn't say what any of this shit does. Or barely any of this shit. Bullet. Gatling gun. No, we're just gonna leave them with what they have for now. It's been it's been working for us. So that's the dog. Now we we are gonna stop by here because I think that there is a store and. I need more weapons and things because weapons are good and stuff. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm weird today. Iron Man, that looks suspiciously, uh, like a place I can buy things. <laughs> 